Hey, what's up guys? I'm your host, Sasha Nicole, and welcome to yet another episode of Rising Artists here on The Sasha Nicole Show. Today, we have a very special guest in store for you today, introducing the newest face of R&B, Brandon Jarrell, who's here to promote his new mixtape to you from me. So without further ado, let's go. They say all the good things fade, but looking at my past, they fray. Ever since you came my way, it's like an angel fell from the sky. Oh my, loving you the way you are, creates a spot in my heart for love. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the show. And here on the set, we have Brandon Jarrell. Right, right. Oh, I like your hat. Thank you. My little bucket. Bucket? Um, would you believe me if I told you I don't know? I don't you don't know, you just picked it up. Nah, you know, I just travel too much, so I just buy stuff and don't remember where I get it. That's awesome. What's what's the your favorite city that you travel to so far? Right now, Atlanta. Atlanta? Why Atlanta? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, not always, Atlanta, huh? Right? huh? A lot of thoughts in Atlanta? Nah, not for me. I don't like that. Okay. Well, anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> right now we have Brandon Jarrell <laughs> on our stage right now, and he's an artist. <laughs> Definitely. You're an artist, you're out here doing your thing. You actually mm -hmm. have a new mixtape coming out to you from me. To you from me. To you exactly. from me. There you go. <laughs> now this, this mixtape has been in the works for quite some time now. Yeah. How long have you been working on this? Actually, I believe I had it officially done last year, but dealing with like traveling and and it was just trying to get my name out there. Right. It put a whole postponement on everything. So now it's like. Now you're ready to put it out there. Now yeah. do you have an official date? April 25th. April 25th. Why yes, that man. date? Is there a particular reason? Or you just like, you feel like that's a good date? It just sounds right. Yeah? April 15th. Nah. That's too soon. That's too much work. To do. Yeah? Well, how many songs are on the mixtape, first this of all? It's going to be 10. 10 songs. Might now, be I know bonuses, though. I, you have a lot of songs lot. in your vault. A How lot. did you even compile these 10 songs and decide that these are the 10 songs that I want to be on the mixtape? I mean, well, this is my first EP, so I just looked at it as like, I want to give them something to hear and listen to, to where I don't have to sit here and, and, and break jaws and break all of this right. to, to accomplish it. So I was like, you know, for my first one, I'd rather give a whole bunch of people to hear off of, you know, some of them include, you know, industry beats that I flip to make my own song. Okay. Some of them are actually my own personal beats. Now, I don't make beats, but you know, you from producers, producers okay. and stuff like that. So, you know, I just want to give the best of both worlds, you know, like songs that you probably have heard and mm -hmm. my versions of them. Okay. And, you know, it just gives a whole new light to like. You know what I find really interesting is you have a song that's very similar to a very popular artist, August Alcino, kissing on my kissing on my tattoo. Oh, man. You have a song that's very similar. What I, what's very interesting about this is you didn't even hear that song before nah. you wrote that song. Actually, you know personally that I had that song. I I know personally you had that before. song in your vault for the longest time, and even when August Alcino came out with his song, I said, "Wow, this one sounds very similar to." Your song. So I how do you feel? It. How do you feel knowing that you know you were able to produce a song that's really a hit right now? I mean, honestly, like it doesn't really bother me that you know he he has a song like that. It actually lets me know and assures me that I'm ahead of my time. You know what right. I mean? That like you feel me? If somebody does a song that I did like a year or two after I created it, it makes me feel like I'm still on the right path. It's just to work a little faster. I mean, but you don't even listen to other artists on the radio. I mean, I do, but I just prefer not to listen to radio every day. Who would you not like, listen to on the radio? Who is like, whenever they come on, you're just like, I'm changing, I'm changing the station. Um, we just gonna leave it as a, as a sign. <laughs> oh, you don't wanna put our names out there? We gonna put the rest note right here. We gonna pause <laughs> it. We just gonna leave it right here and okay. move on. All right, so let's talk about your style then. Your style, how mm -hmm. would you describe your style? I mean, describing it is just, I don't really know how to describe it. It's just like you gotta hear it, you know? It's like, I just like to tell stories, make you feel engaged, a part of it. Um, but it feels like you kind of cater to the women. You cater to the ladies. I mean, while I sing, you ain't gonna see me pulling the dude up on stage. Right, I mean, that's true, that's true. So. But like, how do you know how to target these women? 
like how do you is it in the club that you get your inspiration from or maybe do you bring women to the studio and kind of see how they act and honestly and like it's a mixture of experience mixture of like what you see as well you know and it depends on what environment you're in like if you're in the club and you have you know a whole bunch of loud music, fast music, and stuff like that. You probably gonna want to go to the studio and be inspired off of what you saw, what you've been around, right. what what your surroundings was. And you know, say if you have somebody that you're interested in and you're talking to, and things don't work out, then you'll be inspired to do like, you know, not an emotional song, but more of in touch with your feelings. Right. So it depends on you know your mood, where you're at, what you're doing, and your whole state of mind at the time. So your latest um, single, you're actually releasing something soon. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, you actually had a, a music video you put out. Mm -hmm. Body talk about language. the talk about the that experience. That's your Body first video, language? right? Yeah. Okay. My first official video, Body Language, was more of like a personal song. Um, it actually is a true story. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, back when I was in my, you know, wild days, everybody has those. Oh, so you're over your wild days. Huh? Over wild days for you. Nah, I'm chilling right now. I'm, I'm more focused. You're still young. But I'm more focused, you know what I mean? Everybody, That's everybody crazy. has that. But thing is, everybody has that life altering change, you know? Mm -hmm. And some people catch it quicker than others. Me, I was, you know, I call it the unlucky side of the stick sometimes. I put the lucky side of the stick. And just with what I went through in the past, like, year or so, period, just changed my whole perspective on a lot of things. So how has this year been for you, or last year? Well, it's actually been, last year has been, like, a whole bunch of struggles that I had to, that really, like, put me to the test and made me see, to make me realize, like, all right, this is for you. You know, a lot of people go through a lot of things, and it's either in a situation where it's either going to make you right. or break you. It. So it's like... To me, when everything happened, I still felt like I had no other choice than to still do what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like, what well, was it? Problems with your label, or problems with it just in the industry? Or no, nah, actually, it was just personal problems. You know, I lost my mother and my grandmother. Oh, okay. You know, five months apart, so it was kind of yeah, it was kind of crazy. So sorry. And dealing with like deaths of friends that I just lost a couple months ago. And That's a lot for someone to yeah. take on at one time. Who do you go to when when times like this happen? I'm more of like when things hit the fan. I'm more of like I just need to be by myself to collect my mind to like, I feel like when things happen, yourself is the best person to run to sometimes, you know? Sometimes you can get lost in yourself too. I you mean, need, it depends, outlet, a positive but it outlet. also depends if you know yourself enough, okay. you know? That's sometimes, true. you know, you can depend on yourself, sometimes you can't, but in that situation, in those situations that happened, it was more of, you know, Everybody's gonna say the same thing, you know, are you okay? Mm -hmm. You know, the same repetitions, right. freezes. And that's what I wanted to stay away from because the reality of it is you gotta get your mind together. Right. You gotta get your spirit in order, your heart together to where, you know, what's left or right, you know? And I'm the type of person that when things hit the fan, I really need to think and, and act according to myself more than other people. So how did you overcome that situation? Are you still going through it even right now? Well, of course, you know, they say the average person takes like 10 plus years to get over things like that. You know, I got hit twice within five months. That's so amazing. so for you know, anyone who's also watching this, who, who may be an artist and may be going through some struggles and may not necessarily be a death, but it could be something else traumatic that happened in your life. What what type of advice can you say for them to keep on moving? Like, what what is your positive outlet? What keeps you going? I mean, everybody has their own tricks to trade on how to get over things. Me personally, I say just don't lose your faith. You know, if people do try to come and help you, don't shut them out. Mm -hmm. But majority is all within yourself and how you handle it. And if you get yourself in the right state of mind and you really push through it, you know. You can do anything, pretty much. All right. That's the truth. That's some, that's some positive advice. That's great. Definitely. Okay, so let's get back to the music. All right. So you're actually going to be performing something today. Uh huh. What are you, what are you going to be singing? Um, I'm going to do a little acapella or something, and then I'm going to do a song that's actually on my mixtape called, uh, f yeah, I was about to say from me to you, called <laughs> 3 a.m. Yeah, 3 a.m.? Yeah. Okay, what's that song about? Pretty much, it's like a whole, it's like an after party kind of song. Okay. You so know. after the after, so after the party is the after party. After the party is the after party, but it's a little twist in it. 
Like, you know, you come home and you might run into some problems with your, your sick, I wouldn't like say significant so other, but the other ones, yeah, uh -huh. you know, it's three <laughs> in the morning, you know, she gonna be a little upset, but at the same time, you try, you try to ease her mind about it, you know, okay. you, you play your little word games and stuff and just get her in a more vulnerable state than a mad state. All right, so I'm looking forward to hearing this song and I hope you guys are too. So let the people know where they can find you, where they can, Get a hold of this mixtape and all that good stuff. Definitely. Um, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, pretty much all the same thing. Brandon Jarrell, that's Brandon with an E, B R A N D E N J E R R E L. Put that all in one word. Um, YouTube, same thing, Brandon Jarrell, the video's up there. The mixtape's gonna drop on all the major sites as far as that piff, SoundCloud, Reverb Nation. And others, I'm also gonna have hard copies, t shirts, you know, apparel, everything. The list just goes on and on. Yeah, coming crazy with All it. Right. So, That's coming it. up next, we got Brandon Jarrell hitting the stage, and y'all don't wanna miss this. Yes, so, we're coming yes. up right now. Let me show you a little something on how I feel. Three in the morning What you mad for now? You said you wanna talk these things out Girl, take these shots to the head I don't want you in my head I just want you in my bed Turn you up until you hear the sound Girl, take these shots to the head Go on, get it, go on, get it Right there, right there The way you watch toward the pillow The way you do that right there Now tell me what you're mad for After tell me was it worth it You gon' get what you deserve So I'ma give it up Said you wanna talk these things out Girl, take these shots to the head I don't want you in my head I just want you in my bed Turn you up until you hear the sound Turn you up until you hear the sound You gon' fuck around and have me fuck up all these shit Fuck up all these sheets with all this goddamn R&B With all this goddamn R&B I keep it wet between your knees And if it's wet between your knees It's like I'm swimming overseas I try About three in the morning What you mad for now? You said you wanna talk these things out Girl, take these shots to the head Being without you, baby